You son of a bitch, you. Hello? Hi, it's uh, Philip available. Who? I'm looking for Philip. Who's calling? Oh, uh, this is Ryan Token. I'm calling from the Nielsen family uh, TV monitoring. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, is it is this Philip? You you're the one who yeah. responded to our ad. Yeah, yeah. What, what oh. kind of movies is that? I'm sorry. Say again. Oh, what kind of movies? Is it, is it like a family show or? Um, no, I it, you no. This is actually Nielsen is a uh, sixty year old uh, um, like. TV monitoring company where we actually monitor how many people are watching shows and then we pay people to uh, participate in kind of us gathering of that information. So all you really have to do is like watch TV, watch whatever you want to watch, and our monitoring system will report that back to us. And then we actually we use that to uh, help uh, help companies understand uh, how much they should be charging for revenue. Okay, so it's real easy. I mean, it's 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 not really. I mean, we we used to just go ahead and pay people like five dollars, you know, ten dollars here and there, and they'd fill out little forms. But you know, with the modern technology, we've gotten a lot more creative. So um, with that, it becomes a little more intrusive. Um, but really, there's nothing you have to do except for watch TV. So. Yeah, so I've been, uh, I have a cable, Ocean cable, or do I need to Ocean cable, or you guys provide everything? Do and say that again, sir. The sign on Oceanic Cable. I'm having trouble understanding. Say it one more time. Maybe say it different. The sign on Oceanic Cable. Ocean. Oceanic Cable. Oceanic Cable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's your cable provider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. That's fine. You don't need, it doesn't matter who it is. This is actually just, um, the Genesis AI monitoring system is actually, it's oh. a it's a robot. You just have whatever cable you want. If you don't even have cable, it's fine. We, we, have, oh. a, we have a robot. Have you ever seen the Jetsons? When you were, uh, when you were younger, did you ever see the Jetsons yeah, yeah, yeah. cartoon? All yeah, right. Yeah, we have a, you remember Rosie? Yeah, yeah. Okay, think of think of our monitoring system like Rosie. See, Rosie is this robot. We're going to go ahead and just put ro the robot into your home. We'll send a robot mm -hmm. in the mail. Um, the robot does not need to be uh, fed or it does not need to be, you know, mechanically kept up or anything. All you have to do is make sure that the robot is plugged in two hours of the day. So two hours of the day, the robot will be plugged in, and then the robot will just follow you around your house wherever you go, and it'll, it'll watch you watch TV, and then it reports us back to us. Oh. <laughs> okay? Is that, That's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's, it, it is. I mean, in, in, you know, we've actually we, we test marketed this in Austin, Texas, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. the people actually... <laughs> Because we, we had asked them, you know, how intrusive did it feel to actually have a robot following you around your house, you know, and, you know, record, pretty much monitoring and recording the things that you did. Um, and about 90% of them said it really didn't bug them at all, especially when they justified it, you know, with the financial compensation. So even the 10% who thought it felt intrusive, they said, yeah, but it was worth $1,000 a month. So um, the only thing that we... We recommend um, that you do is because we also we also send a uh, survival kit with so you'll receive a robot and on that same day you'll receive the uh, survival emergency kit and the purpose of the emergency kit is because um, there is a point zero zero one percent chance that the robot will become self aware and if it becomes self aware the robot will 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 go bad and so it's important that you know how to use um, the, the emergency kit so basically if this robot goes bad um, it's really easy to spot because normally it has like glowing green eyes but if it goes bad the eyes start glowing red and it'll come after you and then you just basically gotta the emergency kits made out uh, made up of an mp5 with uh, two rounds or with two clips, with thirty rounds in each clip, um, it, it has a uh, uh, EMT, um, an EMT with a trigger, 
and then a, 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 a global track phone because that automatically will connect you to the Nielsen family office where you can go ahead and you know dial us, uh, hold it off with the MP5 and the two clips, and if it gets too close, just go ahead and pull out the EMT and let it let it just blow up and jump out a window. So none of that is likely to happen. It's very unlikely to happen, but it's very important that you understand what's in your kit and how to use it before you activate it. So how big is that robot? Say again? How big is that machine? Oh, how big is the robot? It's uh, yeah. it stands about it stands about five foot eight. Um, oh, oh. Yeah, it's oh. it's like Rosie. It's like Rosie the robot, and uh, and 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 it you know it's 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 not it's not threatening. In it gets out of your way, but it will follow you around. Um, the it we it had a bug and we tried to fix it, but unfortunately it didn't work. The robot will still follow you into the bathroom. Um, mm-hmm. We we try to prevent that. We're hoping on you know maybe the 2015 robot won't follow you into the bathroom, but yeah, it does. But all it's really documenting is what TV shows you're watching. So so I mean I mean how do you how do you feel about you know this? I mean it's a thousand dollars a month, so obviously you know it, it comes with a little bit of risk. Um, if the robot you know if the robot turns bad. Then you know, like I said, two clips of an MP5 should hold it off. Um, mm-hmm. If it doesn't, let that EMT go. Just make sure, you know, just just pull the EMT, throw it at the robot. Maybe say like a catchy phrase like "fuck you, robot," and then jump out the window. You know, kind of. Mm-hmm. You know, if you do something like that, I'd, I'd say let's let's think of an even catchier line. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, maybe maybe like. I'm gonna blow your circuits, and you know, and then throw the the EMP at it, and then just push through a window. You know, think of a uh, like Die Hard or something. If you did something sweet like that, and and then that'll take care of the robot. But if you just hold it off the MP5 and call our number, then we'll actually so like, go ahead, sir. So only like one person of the whole family. Oh uh, no no no! It's it's for a household, so it doesn't really matter. It'll it has a primary, you know. Basically, anybody who's watching TV, it's going to follow them around and see what they're doing. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, it, it's. I mean, are you saying one person gets paid, or the whole family? No no no! I mean, the robots will not control one person or oh one person or. Um, it'll follow. It'll follow whoever whoever is in the household. So basically, you'll fill out our form. You'll say, you know, it's me, my wife, and three kids, for example. You know, um, I'll program the robot to know everybody's name. Um, it'll it uh, it'll program it to know like what you like for breakfast in case you know it starts try, trying to make breakfast, which is not out of the question. Um, you know, things like that. So. Basically, will the robot will be given the information on your family. Oh. So, so and whoever's watching TV, if multiple people are watching TV, the robot will actually like. Let's say your children are in one room and you're in another. You know, the robot will just keep running back and forth to try to monitor what people are watching. Um, do you have any small pets? No. Okay, that's good because the robot doesn't acknowledge pets as. Uh, a worthy reason to stop. It's it's programmed to not run into walls, but if it, like a cat got in its way, its tank mm-hmm. treads will just run right over the cats. <laughs> so okay, so uh, do I have to pay anything? So no, 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 no. This, this is it's it, the the whole thing's on us. You live your life like normal. We throw a wacky robot in the mix. Make sure you know how to use your survival kit. And uh, that that's that's pretty much it. Okay. Okay. Um, so you're still okay. interested? Okay. I think that sounds good. We'll try it. I'm sorry. What was that? Yeah, yeah. I think that's, uh, okay. You're still interested? Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Um, um, we'll go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead put you uh, mark you down here we'll go ahead and get some forms out to you and then basically all you really got to do after that is fill out the forms um matter of fact i mean what you, i what's your address okay uh 21 okay 14 okay 2114 a h e 
two one one four. Say say the rest again. A like Afar Hotel Echo Street, uh, Street. Spell it for me, please. Uh, alpha A like Alpha. Alpha. Oh, okay. Like yeah. A A P H A L P H A. Okay. Alpha. Yeah. And um. H E. A H E the Street. That is true. Okay. Uh, apartment 4 Delta, 4D. 4D? Okay. Okay, and what's, your, moment, what's your zip? Uh, 96816. Okay, perfect. Well, I tell you what I'm going to do. Um, I mean, you seemed very, very uh, up for this. So I'm going to just go ahead and get a row out in the mail. I'm going to, I'm gonna, okay. I, we're probably going to ship it out Monday. Um, mm -hmm. I would expect it uh, with Thanksgiving and everything like that. I would go ahead and expect your robot uh, a week from Tuesday. So you will be receiving your robot a week from Tuesday. Um, um, just make sure you go ahead and make sure that the MP5 is functional. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just go ahead and go from there. And then you just... How heavy is that robot? I'm sorry, say again? How heavy is that robot? Oh, the robot is about 400 pounds. Ooh. So yeah, it, no, no, it, it'll be fine. The, the robot, the robot is. Uh, and I mean, unless did you live in a straw hut? Mm -hmm. No, no. I mean, uh, how? Because I don't know how to play. The mail gonna deliver or? Oh yeah, yeah. You? It'll be. It'll get dropped off. I mean, matter of fact, I think. I think what we're gonna do is just fly it to the airport, and we'll program it with GPS to find your house, and so. Mm -hmm. And so it'll just uh, find its way to your house. It'll walk. It'll walk through the streets of Hawaii till it finds your your apartment. Well, you're coming from uh, mainland. Oh yeah, yeah. We are actually uh, stationed oh. in California, but um, oh, okay. yeah, so it'll no be. More, you, you don't have any office down here in Honolulu. Uh, no, no, no. Um, oh. We have it. We have offices. We just don't have robots there. So we actually oh, ship. Okay. We ship our robots. At, uh, they actually ship out of uh, the the NSA building, NSA robots, because that I mean unofficially I have I mean I, I unofficially I have to tell you that the this robot we are for us it's just watching you watch television but I believe the government uh, the NSA is likely using it to um, do mass surveillance of the population of the United States and of the Hawaiian Islands. So, but that, don't worry about that. I mean, you got an MP5, you got an, you, then after, and then after 12 months, then we're going to ship them back to you or? Um, no, actually it, it will, uh, it will actually leave, uh, roll itself into the ocean and self-destruct. So you don't got to worry about taking care of anything. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yep, I, your robot should be there a week from Tuesday. Okay, sir. So you call call me back to activate or? Um, actually, there's a no, there's a number on it, and you just call the number, and and I could answer. Yeah, I I could answer if the ro or the robot or the robot will auto call me if it's become um, activated, and and if it's become activated, I will give you a call because that means it's become self-aware, and that means that you need to take the MP5 and the EMP and take cover in a room that has a glass window in case you have to use the EMP and jump out at, like, okay? Okay. So, okay. I can control like the office and on, or? Yeah, um, or the things not gonna, gonna no, open. it's gonna, it's gonna. All you have to, you, it'll, you just need to make sure it's charged. But it'll always be awake and it'll always be watching. Oh, okay. and if its eyes turn red, go to your, go to your dugout room. You're gonna have to designate a room as the family hideout room. So mm -hmm. if this thing activates and becomes self-aware, that's where everybody runs, and that's where you pull out the MP5 and you fight the robot. And call us. So hand the kid, uh, hand one of your kids or the wife or something, hand hand them the uh, global track phone, and we will immediately deploy jets. So. The boy's not going to harm anybody, or? I'm sorry? It's not going to harm anybody. Um, if, it, if it becomes self-aware, we're not sure what's going to happen. 
um, that's the problem. If it becomes a bad robot, but that's what the MP5 and the EMP is for. If it gets, if its eyes turn red, you'll know that it's self-aware. Then feel free to open fire on it with the MP5, and then use the EMP. If, like I said, if it, if you run out of bullets, if your gun runs out of bullets, take the EMP, throw them at them, and say, "You just made my shit list," and then right through the window, and then the EMP will go off, and it'll, it'll be really sweet. Okay? Okay. Okay, your robot will be there in uh, about 10 days. Okay, thank you. Yep, goodbye. <laughs> that was nice. Thank you. Okay. That was bizarre. <laughs> <laughs>